putt. Goddamn, get it done with ya. Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We run into. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're just gonna go over a video that I know a lot of you are probably thinking, why haven't I ever done this before, considering I talk so highly of the M52 engine? And why haven't I ever done this video, considering I did it on the M54 engine? So we are gonna go over it today, and it's the five reasons why I love my BMW N52 engine. So the first reason I love the M52 engine, which I'm gonna go over, is its build and its design. I knew this engine before it become highly popular as it is today. I knew when BMW first released it and it was still in concept on the 130i what it was gonna be. And this engine has always blown my mind just for the power it delivers and because of how smooth the power comes in. And also the fact that it's the first magnesium block BMW ever designed, which I knew it was gonna be an incredible engine and a highly sought after engine. We all knew it was gonna be their last natural aspirated engine. The second reason I love this engine is because of the three stage manifold. Now them intake runners make the whole difference on this engine and it's what gives the ultimate power to the M52 engine. Without that, you don't get to experience the full power of the M52 engine. Them discs make all the difference and completely change the power on this car. And especially on a manual, if it's a manual, it changes it even better. But on auto, it is very, very good. And the way it shifts with the ZF gearbox makes all the difference. The next one I love about this engine is the design of the valve tronic with the eccentric shaft, the vanos solenoids, and obviously the way BMW advanced time with the variable valve lift. This is another reason why I highly love this engine because of that valve tronic system. Like I said, I've had the M54 engine and it wasn't, nothing compared to this m52 engine like i say it's a different engine in this league it's a very smooth engine but it doesn't make the kind of power that this engine does produce and this is another reason why i love the n52 engine the next reason i love this engine guys is because of how easy accessible this engine is to get to now on a 5 series it's very very easy to access everything but being said on an e90 or one series that's just simply not the case but it is doable this engine is very very doable on your own and very very diyable by any diy if you really wanted to watch any of my videos to see how i've managed to do everything on this engine but this engine is also easily removable and you can pull this engine out in less than a few hours and put another one in because of how easy it is and how much space there is to access in, in the engine to be able to pull it out. It's a very easy engine to work on, very easy engine to take out as well if you ever had to. The fifth reason I like this engine is because of the way it's designed in the engine bay. Just the way it looks, the way it sits and the way everything is just so in front of you you don't have to be looking for anything on this engine now i know a lot of you come to me saying you can't find this you can't find that but this engine is so easy to design if you just use common sense you'll be able to find everything on this engine where it's located there's another reason like i can come into this engine bay and know exactly where everything is and where i'm going it's one of the most simplest engines you'll ever come across and everything on it is designed so well like i said it does have its flaws with the electric water pump but that is not a pot off on this car whatsoever that's about the hardest component to get to but and that depends if you've got an xi model yes it will be hard but if you've got a normal a real wheel drive engine it's not going to be hard to get to at all and change over but this engine is like i say absolutely incredible and i love this engine for the pure fact of the power it delivers for the way it's just keeps going and going and secondly how parts are coming down so cheap that it's going to be an affordable car for everybody eventually and everybody's going to get to own the last natural aspirated engine by bmw and then they're going to see why this engine is just so incredible the next reason i love this engine guys well i've said it before and i'll say it again it's an award winning engine the m52 was an award winning engine there will never be another one you will never see another naturally aspirated engine in the bmw section that is going to win awards this engine won the awards it did what it needed to do and now it sits up there as the last and the best naturally aspirated engine that bmw ever produced and there will never be another one because of emission regulations and because of they've got to meet certain criteria and they've got to make cars more economical as they go on so there will never be another engine like this ever produced so that's another reason why i love this engine and why i've told a lot of you guys i will never ever get rid of this m52 engine because of that reason okay guys so there you have it i've just gone over the reasons why i love my bmw m52 engine and i think a lot of you guys are going to be the same as me as well now you guys see why i'll never get rid of this engine and as i said to you this engine will always stay on this channel for as long as i can keep it and as long as i keep going on youtube this car will never go and neither will the engine because this engine is what makes my channel and this is the engine that i know a lot of you guys have and a lot of you guys come to me for when you guys have an issue and this is the car i can make videos on to show you how to locate it or how to repair it so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching this bmw dr dean here and goodbye